This is Cindy Mondragon presenting on semantic feature analysis in life science. What is semantic feature analysis? It is a strategy based on a visual such as a chart or grid which helps students analyze similarities and differences among the related concepts. A topical category is selected Words related to that category are written across the top of the grid and features or properties shared by some of the words in the column are listed down the left side of the grid. Students analyze each word feature by feature writing yes or no in each cell of the grid to indicate if the feature is associated with the word. A question mark is written if students are not sure about a particular feature. Take note that a plus or a minus sign can be used interchangeably instead of a yes or no. Why use semantic feature analysis? When semantic feature analysis are used to analyze the feature of words, students can master concepts that will help expand the vocabulary and help them understand words essential to learning concepts and content areas. According to Bromley, the statement above holds true in the case of struggling readers because the strategy promotes direct and indirect instruction. One more reason to use semantic feature analysis would have to be that it improves content retention also. How can I use semantic feature analysis in the class? Well, I can use it in several ways. I can use it before reading to activate students' knowledge about words. After reading, I can have students return to their chart analysis to clarify and reformulate their initial responses. When students have completed the chart individually, they as a whole class or in groups can share and discuss their different results. Last but not least, SFA charts can be used as study guides or reference sheets always. Take a look at example one. It shows vertebrates by classes and students indicate whether the feature is associated with that particular class. In example two, my students reviewed the characteristics of animal and plant cells using semantic feature analysis. The topic in example three is food and nutrition. So students have to determine which of these properties is found in the five nutrients listed here. Thank you so much for listening to Semantic Feature Analysis by Cindy Mondragon.